Hi and welcome. Thank you for joining me for some yoga today. Today we will be focusing on um, gratitude. So today we'll be a little bit at the end, we'll have a little bit of a gratitude meditation with our final relaxation. And just a reminder that that being grateful, that gratitude it not only is good for others, but it's good for yourself as well. So what you'll need for today's practice is a mat. You'll need a strap, some blocks, just anything that makes your practice supported. Whatever you need to use. If you need to have a chair near you, or if you need to have like a broomstick or something to hold yourself up, whatever you need. Remembering that this is your practice. So take your time, do as much or as little of the class as you would like. And, um, and then again, yeah, if you'd like to stay longer in your final relaxation, I invite you to do that. Feel free to do that, especially if you've been having a tough day and you're finally able to relax. Take advantage of that because again, you do deserve that. All right, so we'll see you guys in class. Welcome to this class, this class before Thanksgiving. So we're going to focus a little bit on gratitude today. Um, but beginning to quiet the mind, beginning to quiet the body, finding some silence and finding some space around you. Maybe beginning to rock it a little bit front to back, just beginning a slight movement, starting to let your body know that you're going to be moving today, that you're going to be giving time to it, doing some self-care through these yoga moves, these yoga postures and poses, and through this mental exercise that you're doing. And sitting this up nice and tall, think about the crown of the head lifting towards the ceiling, towards the sky. Relax our shoulders down and back. So you can have your hands on your knees or on the floor, whichever feels most comfortable for you. Let's begin by dropping that chin towards the chest. And as you're doing this, recognize maybe where you're feeling this at. And then take our eyes to the sky. And chin to chest. And eyes to sky. And chin to chest. And eyes to sky. Let's bring the center, look over to one side, and then to the other, and again, take that to the right, and to the left, and bring this back to center. Let's begin to roll our shoulders, so you can roll those back, and begin to roll that forward, starting to wake the shoulders up, starting to wake the neck up, the head up, the brain up. Go ahead and crunch those shoulders up to the ears and then release that down and crunch that up and release that down and again crunch this up and release it down and one more time crunch up and release that down good maybe drop chin to chest and do some slight neck circles but these these ones are going to be tiny because we're going to do bigger neck circles in a moment but we're still just getting everything warm especially if you've got um, a cold house right now. It's cold outside. Your muscles might be cold. Good, bring this up to center. Let's begin to add in those arms. So let's go ahead and inhale and sweep our arms towards the sky. And exhale and press this down. And inhale and lift this up. And exhale and press. And inhale and lift. And as we exhale, let's clasp our hands behind us, open up that chest and go ahead and drop that chin. So lengthening through our arms, maybe leaning it forward or taking it back so that your arms are right by that tailbone, whatever feels most comfortable for you. But we're opening up the chest and opening up those shoulders, stretching through the arms. Let's bend at our elbows, take our hands over to right waist and then squeeze that elbow back. So thinking about this elbow going back towards the center of your back, towards your spine. And then let's switch sides and take this back. And then release that. Let's inhale and sweep this up. And exhale and press down. 
and inhale and lift up and exhale and press and inhale and lift and as we exhale again let's clasp our hands behind open up that chest again maybe take our eyes to the sky this time and then drop our chin recognizing where you're feeling this at lift your head center take hands over to left waist elbow goes back good opening up that chest and shoulder and bring this back to center taking it to the other side elbow goes back And bring this back to center. Go ahead and release that. Inhale and sweep our arms up. And exhale and press. Inhale and sweep. Let's clasp hands up at the top. Press palms towards the ceiling. And lengthen through that torso. So as we're beginning to do this, as we're beginning to warm up the body, warm up the mind, possibly thinking about things that you are grateful for. Things that you might be grateful for today this morning like the ability to be here to be doing this to move that's a wonderful thing too let's inhale deeply and exhale and inhale and exhale inhale and exhale with that exhale we're really activating the nervous system here, so we're waking everything up, continuing, continuing, activating the brain to inhale deeply. As we exhale, sigh that out, and release those arms down. Very good, roll that out. Sweep up, drop right hand, reach this over, keeping left glute on the floor, and lift this up, drop left hand, reach this over, right glute stays on the floor. Reach this up, drop left hand to right knee. Nice little twist, our first spinal twist here. And bring this up, take it to the other side. So left hand to that, or right hand to that left knee. And bring this up, good, release this. You can take those hands on your knees or on the floor, whatever feels most comfortable again for you. Let's go ahead and imagine that we can take our chin all the way over that shoulder. But once we get there, take our eyes back further Take our left hand to right thigh, right hand goes behind, and an even bigger twist. Nice big spinal twist here. Breathing it deep. Think about breathing down into your belly, but filling up those lungs, but allowing that belly to move as well. Bring this back to center. Let's look over to the other side, thinking about that chin going over the shoulders, eyes going back a little bit further. Right hand goes to the thigh, left hand behind. Lift and twist this here. Breathe deep. And it's not unusual if you're able to twist further on one side than on the other. That's what yoga is doing. We're bringing balance so that we can do the same on both sides. But if you can't, that's very, very normal. It might be a little while into your practice before you're able to see some balance going on. And then bring this back to center. Good, drop one ear towards one shoulder. So now your neck might be warmed up a little bit more. Drop our chin to chest, other ear to shoulder, and chin to chest. And let's go ahead and do those shoulder rolls. So go ahead and roll that shoulder, chest, shoulder. Nice half circles, maybe, again, recognizing where you're feeling this at. Allow the tension begin to melt good bringing this back to center let's sweep up through our arms keeping our palms up towards the sky hinging slightly forward so you can take your hands on the floor I'm going to grab blocks and take them tall especially if you are if you've got tightness in your hips and your hip flexors and your glutes or you've got tightness up in your neck it's really easy to round the the back and crunch it here. Think about sitting this up tall, leading with the chin and lengthening from the glutes on out. So really good beginning stretch for those hips, for the glutes, for that spine. And then bring this up. Let's sweep this up again. Reach up through our fingers, hinge it forward. And again, hands can go to the floor or to block. 
but think about leading with that chin and then gently bring this up sweep this up and release our arms to our sides good you can put your blocks off to the side for a moment and let's go ahead and take ourselves our feet nice and wide we're going to drop our knees from side to side and continuing to warm up the body so now we're moving down to the low body so taking this side to side dropping this feet can be as wide or as narrow as feels comfortable for you let's go ahead and keep that foot in front i've got my left foot in front and you can go to a quarter turn or a half turn for this spinal twist and you can be on your hands you can be on your elbows or you can be all the way down on the floor lengthening through that so we're getting a nice long lengthening all the way up breathing deep i'm going to stay up on my hands today so that i get a really good stretch back in here breathe it breathe it breathe it and then let's bring this back to center good lean it back let's drop our knees from side to side once again this time let's keep that other leg forward and again, either quarter turn or half turn, hands, elbows, or all the way down on the floor and get that wonderful stretch on the other side, that nice twist. Breathe it deeply here. And then bring this back to center. Good, let's take our legs nice and long, but keep our knees bent just like we did with our simple cross leg and we hinged it forward, we're gonna do the same thing here. So we're stretching through our backs. It's really easy when we do this to think about we're reaching for those toes, we're reaching for those ankles, we're stretching through the legs. We're gonna stretch through the back first and then we'll get to the legs. So let's reach it up, inhale, and hinge this forward. Again, let's lead with that chin, lengthen through the arms, shoulders down and away. So we're stretching through that spine here. And then lift this up and lengthen through this we'll worry about stretching through the legs in a moment inhale and lift this up and hinge this forward and inhale and lift this up release our arms to our side let's bring our left leg in flex through that right foot now we can fully straighten that right leg take this up and reach that arm around let's get another twist here straight leg twist and nice breathing and then let's go ahead and twist towards the inside of the body. Inhale and lift this up. Nice deep twist on this other side. And bring this back to center. Let's lengthen through the left leg. Go ahead and bring our right leg in. So that left leg is straight, foot is flexed. Bringing our right leg in, give that a big hug. Take that right leg over left. Reach left arm around, right hand goes behind. And a nice twist here, flexing through that foot. And then turning this in towards center. And then bring this back to center. Sitting this nice and tall, so we're in a staff pose. So it's like that capital L right here. So lengthening up and then we can hinge forward here. Now we're feeling that stretch in the legs. And depending on where your flexibility is, you may be able to go all the way down, but we're shoulders down the back and we're lengthening through this so now we're stretching through those legs through the calves through the hamstrings and then gently bring this up reaching up and then let's hinge it again and then reach this up reach up really tall engaging our core engaging those abs sitting right there up on those glutes and then let's go ahead and release that very nice let's take our legs underneath us We'll move on to all fours and we'll continue our, our warm up of our body and we'll continue warming up through the spine. So let's drop our belly to the floor, take our eyes to the sky, maybe rocking it a little bit and then round our spine, take their chin to chest, round that up. So cat and cow, dropping this down and rounding this up and dropping that down and rounding up and dropping this down and rounding up. And dropping this down, good, and rounding this up. Let's move into our bird dog. So super important balance right here. 
lifting through our right leg. Now this may, may be as far as you would like to go today. Flexing through the foot, balancing here. This is wonderful. If you'd like to go a little further into this bird dog, go ahead and reach through that left arm. So now we're lengthening through this. And then if you'd like to go even further, you can bring that elbow into that knee. Now, if you've got the hands on the floor, go ahead and just bring that knee in. Otherwise, we're gonna take this for six and reach. Here's five and reach. Here's four, reach. Three, reach. Last two and reach. And last one, let's reach and hold. Bend at our knee, bottom of the foot facing the ceiling. Shoot that arm by your side. Now, again, if you've got both of those hands on the floor, then you can keep it here too. Arm shoots by your side. If you're further in your practice, you can reach back for that foot or that toe. Again, listen to your body. Listen to wherever you are going in your practice. Every day is different. And then let's lengthen through this. Release the arm. Release the leg. Take ourselves back into our first child's pose and reach through those arms. Taking that down, breathing deep. Bring ourselves back up, cat and cow. Let's go ahead and go three rounds here. Drop our belly, inhale. Round our spine. Drop that belly. Round that spine. And drop that belly and round that spine. Flatten our back. Let's lift our left leg up this time. Flex through that foot. And again, if you had your arm down on this on the other side, then go ahead and keep it down on this side. You want to make sure that you're balanced. You don't want to become stronger on one side, stronger on one than the other. So lengthening through that left leg. If you had that other arm out, go ahead and take your right arm out. And we'll go into this balance right here. When you're ready, let's take elbow to knee and we'll go for six times. So bring this in for six and reach. Here's five and reach. Four, reach. Three, reach. Two, reach. And last one, let's reach and hold. Bend in our knee, bottom of the foot facing the ceiling. Shoot that arm by your side or reach back for that foot wherever it feels most comfortable for you, wherever your practice is at. And then let's go ahead and lengthen through this. Release the arm, release the leg. Child's pose. Take this back. Very nice. Let's walk our hands over to the right. Sit our left glute to our left heel. Walk hands to the left. Right glute to right heel. Bring this back to center. Bring ourselves up. Roll over onto your back. We'll do some bridge work. So go ahead and grab your block. Move this out of the way. And we're going to take ourselves all the way down onto the floor. Go ahead and take that block, squeezing it between those knees. So our feet are lined up with our knees and our knees are lined up with our hips. Let's press through our hands, our elbows, and our triceps and lift our pelvis towards the ceiling. Take our chin to chest. So here's our first bridge right here. Very nice. Waking that up. Squeezing through the, the inner thighs, through the knees, holding that block. So that engages all of those leg muscles right here. Very slowly, one vertebrae at a time, let's roll this down, imprinting that spine onto the floor. And then pelvis comes to the floor and then lift this back up. We're going to do this Probably, let's do it five more times. Let's really, really warm up that spine today. So go ahead and lower this down one vertebrae at a time, being thankful for our spines, for the mobility that we have, and lift this up, being grateful for that. And lower this down one vertebrae at a time, and pelvis goes down, and then lift this up. Let's go a couple more times. Taking this down one vertebrae at a time, rolling that spine into the floor, pelvis goes down and lift this up. One more time, take this down one vertebrae at a time, pressing that into the floor and then lifting up and hold. 
planting our feet into the floor. We're still engaging those legs, so that means you're still squeezing that block in between your knees. Or if you've got a book. Actually, with the book, it's probably harder because I'm sure your book weighs more than the block, so, so you're having to engage even more. Let's press through our toes and lift our heels. So now we're stretching up through the calves, stretching the fronts of the feet. And then flatten through this, press through our heels, lift our toes, flex through our feet. And really squeeze the block right here. And then slowly flatten through the feet and slowly drop that pelvis towards the floor and release that. Very nice, you can release your block. Go ahead and reach behind one knee and pull that in. And then reach behind the other, pull that in. And again, reach behind and behind. And reach behind both chin to chest, forehead to the knees. And release this down. We're gonna continue with our bridge. So again, lining our feet up with our knees, our knees with our hips. Lift our pelvis towards the sky flattening through those feet. You can get those feet as close to your glutes as feels comfortable for you. You can even begin to take your shoulders, shoulder blades underneath your body. And if you'd like, you can even clasp your hands underneath here. We're going to hold a bridge here. Just a few breaths. And then we'll move into some sun salutations as our body is like almost fully warmed up. Breathing deeply here. Give me these empty spaces with your breathing. You're finding things that you're grateful for, things that you're thankful for. Like I'm looking outside at the blue sky and the green trees, thankful for those things. And then gently, let's flatten through those shoulders and slowly roll that down. Pelvis goes down last, release. Reach behind one knee, pull that in. And then behind the other, pull this in. And again, reach behind and behind. Very nice. Both of our knees, drop them over to the side, press ourselves up, and let's bring ourselves around and we'll move into our sun salutations. So you can place your blocks wherever you would like those at. Maybe at the front edge of your mat. If you're going to use blocks, you don't have to use blocks. Always feel free to use whatever support or no support. Again, remembering this is your practice. Let's curl our toes under. We'll go into our first downward facing dog. Keep our knees bent. Let's lift the tail to the sky. So a nice modified down dog here with the knees bent, stretching through our spine first, and then let's begin to pedal our feet. and then dropping our heels towards the floor. Maybe nod the head. Lift up on our toes, heels high, and let's drop both of our heels over to one side. Good Achilles stretch right here. Good stretch in the ankle, and the heel, the foot. Lift that back up, and then let's drop this over to the other side. Lift this back up. Good, drop to our knees, we're gonna go into dolphin. So we've got our down dog, we're stretching and warming up our legs. Now we're gonna do our dolphin, so down onto those elbows through the hands and lift this up. And again, we're stretching through the legs, but we're also getting a good shoulder movement here. Dropping this down, back up, back into downward facing dog, lift this, breathe. From here, drop to our knees, down to those elbows. Dolphin, lift this up, breathe. Drop to those knees, press ourselves back up, downward facing dog, breathe. Let's walk both of our feet to meet our hands, standing forward fold at the front edge of the mat. Feel free to grab blocks or no blocks. If we're using blocks, we're gonna have our hands right there on the blocks and we're going to flatten our back into monkey. If you're not going to use blocks, feel free. Hands go right to those shins, flattening through the back, and release this down. The blocks help 
with more stability and also with um, deeper flexibility. So always never feel like um, you don't have to use support. Support can be helpful, especially if you want to go deeper into some, some poses. So let's inhale into monkey, flattening that back and looking forward. Exhale, release. Inhale, sweep our arms up towards the sky. Cactus our arms as we exhale. So let's take this back. Inhale and lift this up. Exhale, dive it down and over. Inhale it into monkey, flattening that back, looking forward. Exhale, release. Inhale, sweep our arms up. Cactus our arms. Take this back. Elbows. Good. Inhale and lift this. Dive it down and over. Inhale, monkey, flattening that back, looking forward. Exhale, release. Last time with cactus arms. Sweep our arms up. Cactus them back. And inhale and lift. Dive it down and over. Inhale, monkey, flattening that back, looking forward. Exhale and release. Inhale, sweep our arms up towards the sky. Let's take it around into chair. Good, a nice chair here. Beginning to warm up our big leg muscles, big strong leg muscles. They use a lot of calories. Inhale and sweep this up. Dive it down and over. Inhale it into monkey, flattening that back, looking forward. Exhale, release. Our right foot's gonna stay forward and our left foot's gonna go back into a lunge. Your lunge can be a high lunge or a low lunge. Hand can be on the block, whatever level you want, or hand can be on the floor. So we've got our spinal twist over to the right and lengthening over through this. Breathe deeply. And bring this back to center. Let's take our right foot back to meet our left foot to the top of plank. Go ahead and shift the weight forward, drop to front of the knees, uncurl toes, heart to the floor, heart off of the floor. Curl our toes, lift and press, downward facing dog. Breathe. Center our weight, lift our right leg. Go ahead and rotate that ankle in the air. Rotate it the other way. Let's bring our knee, knee to nose three times. So bring this in for three and lift. It's two and lift. Last one. And lift, and this time let's bring our leg all the way through, back into that lunge, walking it forward or sweeping it through. Hand can be on block, left hand on block. And let's twist this over to the right once again. Bring the center using blocks or floor. And strength of your core to bring yourself up, lift yourself up, and then release the standing forward fold. Good. Inhale, monkey, flattening that back, looking forward. Exhale, release. Inhale, sweep our arms up. Exhale, around to chair. Inhale, and lift this. Exhale, dive it down and over. Inhale, monkey, flattening that back, looking forward. Exhale, release. Left foot forward, right foot goes back, lunge. Right hand on block or floor. Spinal twist. Take this over. Breathe. Bring this back to center. Left foot goes back to meet right foot, top of plank. Shift our weight, drop to front of the knees, uncurl toes. Heart goes to the floor, heart off of the floor. Curl our toes under, lift and press. Downward facing dog. Center our weight, lift our left leg, rotate the ankle. And lift, rotate it the other way. Let's bring the into nose three times, so bring this in for three. And lift, last two, and lift, last one, and lift. And this time, let's bring this leg all the way through back into that lunge. Right hand goes on the floor or the block, spinal twist to the left. Center that weight. Let's bring that hands to floor or blocks and lift this up. Modified warrior three and release this down. Let's inhale, sweep our arms up towards the sky. Exhale, around to chair. Inhale, and lift this up. Exhale, dive it down and over. Inhale, monkey, let's take hands to shins this time. Looking forward, exhale, release both feet back to top of plank. Shift our weight, drop to front of the knees, uncurl toes. Heart goes to the floor, heart off of the floor. Curl our toes, lift and press. Downward facing dog. Walk our feet to meet hands. We're going to go through three more cycles like that. Inhale, sweep our arms up. Take it around chair. Inhale and lift. Dive it down and over. Inhale, monkey, hands to shins. 
Exhale, release, pull feet back, top of plank. Shift weight forward, drop to fronts of the knees, uncurl toes, heart to the floor, heart off of the floor. Curl our toes, lift and press, downward facing dog and breathe. Walk our feet to meet hands. Inhale, sweep our arms up. Exhale, around chair. Inhale and lift. Exhale, dive it down and over. Inhale, monkey flattening that back, hands to shins. Exhale, release, both feet back, top plank. Shift our weight, drop to fronts of the knees, uncurl toes, heart to the floor, heart off of the floor. Curl our toes, lift and press, downward facing dog, and breathe. Walk our feet to meet our hands. We've got one more like that. Inhale and sweep our arms up. Exhale around to chair. Inhale and lift. Dive this down and over. Inhale, monkey, flattening that back, looking forward. Exhale, release both feet back, top of plank. Shift our weight, drop to fronts of the knees, uncurl toes. Heart to the floor, heart off of the floor. Curl our toes under, lift and press, downward facing dog, and breathe. Let's do a pigeon today. So let's center our weight here. Lift our right leg, bend at our knee, drop our right heel over towards that left glute. Bring our knee back to center and sweep this leg through, taking that down. Feel free to always use support for your pigeon. You can put support right underneath that glute or underneath the hip, wherever you need it. You can use as much support as you want. You can be on your hands, on your elbows, or all the way down onto the floor. As we stretch into this, breathing deep. Good opening for that hip. If you've got some extra stress going on, especially with the holidays, this might be a wonderful thing to do, especially if you tend to hold your anxiety or tightness in your hips and low back. Let's press ourselves halfway up. Bend at that knee. We're going to reach our left hand back for our foot. Lots of stretching here. Stretching through the bicep, stretching through the quadricep, getting a good hamstring strengthening right here. From here, we're going to take our left foot and swing it around and try and get both of our glutes to the floor so we're in a nice pretzel. Sitting this up, and again, we are opening up our hips even more now. So taking this down, opening up those hips, sitting that up, and breathe. From here, let's go ahead and take our legs, swing this back around, press ourselves back up, downward facing dog. Lifting this up and breathe in our down dog. This is your centering pose. This is your relaxation right here, your downward facing dog, your nice inversion. Center our weight, let's lift our left leg, bend at our knee and drop our left heel over towards right glute flex through that foot. Bring this knee back to center and let's sweep this through. Pigeon on the floor. Again, use support here if it's most comfortable. Doing what your body will let you do today. Taking this down, breathing it deep. And let's press ourselves halfway up, reach our right hand back for right foot. And stretching through that right arm, through that bicep, through the quadricep. Grabbing that right foot, let's go ahead and bring this around into a nice pretzel right here. And sitting those glutes, trying to get both of our glutes to the floor. And again, if one side is completely tighter than the other, 
very normal guys you are normal you are normal if one side is not working the same as the other and hands can be to heart they can be wherever is most comfortable but this is also a mental one right here because you have to kind of mentally allow yourself to relax to release any tightness that you're holding on here. Release any anxiety, any tension, any stress, any stressful thoughts. Let them go and you'll feel that your hips will let go too. They will begin to release that, release that stress, release that tension. From here, let's go ahead and take both of our feet together, heels together, sitting this up tall, shoulders down and back. Kind of lean it back here. And then release. We're going to move into reverse plank and then boat. And then we'll go all the way on the floor. So our reverse plank, you can have your fingers facing towards the toes or hands away. Whatever feels most comfortable for your wrists. We're going to press through the heels of our hands and the heels of our feet. Lifting with our pelvis first, lift that up and opening through the chest. Lift with the pelvis. This is our nice reverse plank. I love this one because it gets such a good stretch in the fronts of my arms and my biceps. Such a good strengthening for the wrists. Good strengthening for the whole body, but good strengthening here. Good opening again for those hips and drop this down. Simple cross legs, sit this up, hinge this forward. Grab your strap, put that next to you. And we're gonna move into boat pose. So leaning this back, heels can be to the floor, they can be up, legs can be straight or they can be bent, whatever. There's so many modifications here. One foot can be on the floor, other foot, whatever works, again, works best for you. We're gonna lengthen through this and breathe. We'll do this twice. So if you've got one foot down, don't worry. We'll do the other side too. Good release. Simple cross leg. Sit this up. Hinge this forward. Then move this back. So we're going to go all the way onto our back. Roll onto your back. Grab your strap if you want to. We're going to go into happy baby's pose if you would like to use that strap. If your hips are super tight, then go ahead and use that. Otherwise, you can grab the outside of your foot or that big toe. And we're gonna take this down, imagining that both of those knees are going right by that rib cage down, pinning to the floor. Imagining. If you can do that, then that's amazing. Take a picture, send it to me. Breathing it deeply here. Maybe rock it from side to side. Wonderful, happy baby's pose. Wonderful, releasing, even more releasing that hip flexor. This goes wonderfully with that pigeon. Release right, release left. Press ourselves up for our boat pose one more time. So leaning this back, reaching through our arms. If you had one leg up, go ahead and take the other. If you had both, or you can have both heels down, whatever works for you. Let's do some breathing here. And then release simple cross leg. Sit this up tall, hinge this forward, shoulders away. Good. And then let's take this back down. Now we're going to come all the way down onto the floor and move into some floor stuff and your final relaxation. So if you've got a pillow, blankets that you need to grab, go ahead and grab those, or you've got that eye pillow, whatever you need for final relaxation, grab it. And then meet me back on the floor. We're going to do happy baby's pose one more time here. So either grabbing the outside or the inside, I'm going to do the, my toe this time. And pulling that down towards the floor. Breathing into this, relaxing into this. 
This might be a good time again to remember some things that you're grateful for, thankful for. Sometimes these poses can bring up memories or reminders or thoughts. Whatever things that you're grateful for that are coming to your mind. Just think on those. Allow yourself to sit in those. Allow yourself to be grateful for all that is surrounding you. And let's release right. Release left. Good. Reach behind both knees. Let's drop both of our knees over to one side. Take our arms into that nice T. And looking away from those legs. Bring this back to center. Dropping those knees over to the other side and look away from those legs. Bring this back to center. Let's take our left ankle, place it onto our right thigh. We're going to do a single legged bridge because this will stretch and it'll also strengthen. So left ankle is to right thigh, press through our hands, our elbows, our triceps, and let's lift this pelvis, to your pelvis towards the ceiling and get a good stretch here. You might even need to take your foot onto that thigh so that you can open this up a little bit more. Breathing it deep. Very slowly, let's lower this down. Wonderful stretch, reach behind that right leg, pull that towards you. So you get a double stretch here. A hip flexor, so the inside of the hip, and then at the outside of the hip on both legs. And gently release. Let's take it to the other side. Right ankle goes to left thigh. Plant through our right foot, or left foot, and lift this up, single leg bridge. Breathe it deep. and slowly lower down. Reach behind that knee, pull that towards you. Wonderful stretch. And release. Let's move into relaxation. So let's press through our heels towards one end of the room. Reach through fingers towards the other. Lengthen through that torso. Lengthen through that body, add an inch or two to your height, really reach through that, lift that lower back up off the floor. Make your body super light, maybe filling up those lungs with air so that you're floating, lifted, the body is light, the mind is light. You feel strong and strengthened after that practice. And then when you are ready to allow yourself to exhale to relax to sink go for it you can release all of that air out which allows your body to begin to sink and settle into the floor settling into it however it feels most comfortable for you for your joints maybe for your low back maybe you need your knees bent so that your low back is into the floor whatever you need but allowing yourself to keep your eyes closed and maybe doing a mental body scan. So starting at the toes, working to the crown of the head. Beginning to relax the body, so mentally relaxing it. Maybe wiggle your toes and point those toes and flex those feet. Working up towards the ankles, maybe you need to lift each leg and rotate the ankle. Relaxing the calves, so now those feet are just falling open or they're relaxed into the floor. Relax the kneecaps, the backs of the knees. Relax the quadriceps, the thighs. Relax the hamstrings or the backs of the thighs. Relax the pelvis, the glutes, and the belly. Let the belly button fall back towards your spine. Relax your rib cage, your chest, your eyes. Release your jaw. Relax your arms. Relax
relax those fingers. Maybe you can wiggle them a little bit and then release them. Again, relax the jaw even more. Relax the face and the eyes. Let the eyeballs fall back to the back of your skull. Relax the eyebrows, the forehead, the scalp. Relax and release the entire body, sink and melt. As you find yourself in relaxation, notice your arms lying peacefully by your side, heavy and relaxed. Still allowing your breath to move through you and over you and around you and begin to feel a deep sense of gratitude about the things in your life. You may feel grateful for something you have, so bring into your mind those objects you are grateful for, such as your home, your bed, pillows, blankets, other things, things that you are grateful for, things that just immediately come to your mind. Breathe deeply into your thoughts as you imagine these things. As you exhale, whisper to yourself, thank you. Continuing to breathe in and out, expressing gratitude for those people you know. Allow this person, these people, and even animals to rise into your mind. See them clearly. Breathe deeply into your imagination. Perhaps you can even hear how they sound. As you breathe out, whisper, thank you. Become grateful for yourself, your health, your wisdom, your kindness, the wisdom of others, the kindness of others. Be grateful for those times you stood up for yourself or for someone else. Be grateful for your ability to love others. Breathe in deeply, imagining that you can give yourself a big hug and whisper, thank you. Breathe in and out, expressing gratitude for the smallest things. Whatever small things pop into your mind, be grateful for them. Breathe in again, feeling the importance of even the little things and exhale, whispering to yourself, thank you. Continuing to breathe, continuing to be grateful for your breath, for that breath bringing you life, letting your breath fall away and allowing your body to sink deeper into your relaxation. Now take some time to focus on the world around you and feel even more gratitude Maybe keeping your eyes closed still, mentally scanning. All you have to do is think about the things you are grateful for as they expand and grow. Live the present moments without obsession by being connected all the time to gratitude. Really feel yourself as you are naturally. Not as you expect you should be, just be thankful for who you truly are. Finding pleasure from all of your senses. For the fact is, is that we can truly enjoy the things we have. We don't need anything else. We already have everything we need to make the most of our time here on earth. Be grateful for your existence because you are here. You are present. You are everything that the world needs. There will be things that you are grateful for in your own life, but there are also so many things that can, you can send appreciation towards. Appreciate the gift of life. Appreciate the gift of sound. Appreciate your heart, your physical body your life-giving energy, blood through your body. Maybe appreciating the fact that we live in a country, in a society where we have running water, where we have power, where we have drinkable water, 
where we can moderate the temperature within our homes, or we have a home with a roof to keep us protected and warm. We can go places. There are vehicles to take us places. We can travel in short amounts of time. We have public libraries. We have books. We have things available to anyone, public schools for anyone to learn. We have indoor plumbing. Being grateful for the people that make our lives easier. The people that toil in the hot sun, that grow our food and harvest our food and deliver our food. Being grateful for the maintenance workers to ensure our public utilities and our safety. Being thankful and grateful to the people who build our homes, who design our clothes, who construct all of the gadgets, all of the things that we have around. Being grateful and appreciating the people who deliver our mail. There is so much to be grateful for. Now you can take some time and think of those people in your life that has, have enriched your life personally. Appreciate them individually in your meditation, in your relaxation, in your breathing. And thank them for being in your life. Maybe doing that thank you with that exhale. Continue this practice of gratitude until you feel complete this morning. And I encourage you to continue to do this for the next few days or for however long it feels appropriate for you. Consider and reflect on your own reasons for feeling grateful. Appreciate yourself. Love yourself. Appreciate others. Love others. Appreciate God. Love, respect, and honor Him. Continuing to relax continuing to breathe, continuing to find gratitude and thanks. And when you're ready, begin to bring your thoughts back to the present. Begin to bring your body back to the present. Maybe bending those knees, dropping them over to your most comfortable side, taking yourself onto your side and then gently pressing yourself up and bringing yourself up to a simple cross-leg form or a form that feels most comfortable for you. It doesn't have to be cross-leg. You can sit however it feels most comfortable. Maybe feeling stronger in your body, maybe feeling stronger in your mind as you went over things that you were grateful for. I know that this year has been tough. It's been tough for everyone. 2020, <laughs> has been ridiculously tough. And so it can be hard to find some things that you're grateful for. But once you do, you'll see that more things will expand. That once you find something that you're grateful for, you'll be able to attach that to something else that you're grateful for. And it will get bigger and bigger and bigger. And you'll begin to realize that yes, 2020 has been very tough. It's been abnormally, unusually, freaky tough. But there are still things that are good. There are still things attached to us that are good, that bring us strength, that bring us joy, and that have helped get us through 2020 to get us into the next year. So I encourage you to keep going over those things that you're grateful for and watch them expand. Watch them grow bigger. Watch the things get more and more. Watch your world get bigger as you think for things. Think of things that you're grateful and thankful for. As always, thank you for joining me today. Let's go ahead and we'll do a, a nice little ending. So let's bring our arms up, bring everything together, bring our palms together. Let's take our fingers to forehead. As we leave today, let us think thoughts of truth. And I'm super thankful that this guy is still alive. He was almost dead two weeks ago. So I'm thankful that he's here <laughs> attacking me. Bring hands to heart. As we leave today, actually let's bring our hands to our fingers because this will be important. As we leave today, let us speak words of truth, words of love, 
words that are grateful, words that are thankful. And those thankful words will bring life to others, bring hands to heart. As we leave today, let our lives be a light of truth and a light of love, having hearts of compassion and mercy, knowing that we have not been given a spirit of fear, but the spirit of love and a sound and peaceful mind. Inhaling deeply and cleansing exhale. And I know 2020 has been hard. You're not alone in that. But I'm grateful for you. I am thankful for you. 2020 has brought me this opportunity to do this stuff. So I'm grateful for that. Have a blessed rest of your week. Have a great Thanksgiving. And we'll see you guys next time.